In today's video, we're going to look at Myron Golden's Make More Offers Challenge. I'm going to talk a little bit about whether you should join this challenge, what the challenge is all about, and if it's right for you and your business. So buckle up and let's go. So came to the challenge three months ago, um, couldn't even afford platinum, could only afford VIP, um, had an offer, heard everything that everybody was saying in the VIP and the platinum session, um, took everything that Dr. Golden told me to do, raised my prices, changed my offer structure. Um, even changed how I was beginning to generate leads organically. And in the last three months, earned my previous full-time yearly salary, earning $60,000 in revenue. Uh, of that, $49,800 is profit because I paid out some affiliate commissions. But yeah, earned 60 grand in three months just from the last Make More Offers Challenge. So I'm back for more, I'm back to double up. All right, if you've been thinking about taking Myron Golden's Make More Offers Challenge, you've seen his content on YouTube or elsewhere, and you're really attracted to the content that he's putting out, then please pay careful attention. Because I've taken Myron Golden's Make More Offers Challenge two times, and there are some really, really important lessons that I've learned, and I'm gonna share those with you right now. But first off, before I get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get the notifications every time I post a video video like this one. All right, so the first question that most people have is who is Myron Golden? Like, what is he all about? Now, I met Myron Golden at the Inner Circle for Life Mastermind, which is a mastermind that happens in Boise, Idaho, where people pay $50,000 just to come and sit in a room with high-level entrepreneurs. And this mastermind is run by Russell Brunson, who is pretty much a genius when it comes to marketing and sales. So I wanna tell you a little bit about what the Make More Offers Challenge is all about, so you can understand whether or not it's worth it to pay the money to join the challenge or whether it's gonna work for you or not. Now, people from all types of businesses join this challenge. Challenge. After all, Myron does promise a 1,280% increase in your revenue just by taking this challenge. I just want to say thank you. Like I had to be on here. Um, my life has completely changed. The information he gave me took my business to 100K a month. And that's huge for me. It's like what that 100,000 pounds, not even US dollars, right? So that's like 150,000 US dollars a month. Now, the cool thing is if you join as a VIP, you get this extra access to Myron because you get to be there like an hour before the whole thing starts. And if you join as platinum, which is a little bit more money, then you get to actually ask a question. So I've taken this challenge two times before. I'm gonna break it down for you and kind of tell you the lessons that I learned. I'm gonna share everything that you're gonna learn on each of the days that this challenge takes place. Now, I revealed the promise, which is basically what he's promising that you'll achieve because you always have to have a promise that you're gonna deliver to your prospects, your customers, your buyers, whatever. Now, I'm gonna also break down exactly what happens in the five days. Now, there are five days in this challenge. It's a live challenge. So basically, you tune in on Zoom, you get to participate in the challenge and listen to what Myron has to share, and you'll get all the awesome information that he reveals during this challenge. So in day one of the challenge, he talks all about offer science, kind of breaking down what an offer is and how an offer is structured and kind of what the purpose of an offer is. Now he goes on to explain that an offer is basically amplified or not amplified by the content that you share. So in day one, he basically teaches you, number one, how to define the offer. He tells you kind of how to structure the offer to lead people away from pain or towards pleasure it kind of breaks that whole thing down and day one is pretty much a lot about how to create like opt-in funnels which is the primary thing that you're gonna need because you're gonna need leads to sell your offer to. So in day number two, he talks about offer strategies, kind of breaks down the core product offer and teaches you the four levels of learning. So those four levels are basically the tactics, AKA what to do, the strategies, which is basically why and when to do it, the principles, which is basically how everything works, and then he teaches you the essence, so basically why it works. Now don't worry because I break pretty much all of this stuff down. I have detailed notes on the challenge. Now I'm not gonna reveal everything to you guys, but if you wanna know a little bit more about it, then just grab the notes because you can have them. I created the notes, I've joined the challenge two times. I basically jotted it down 
everything that he had to say. So on day number three, he teaches you about premium value offers, which is basically like high priced offers, teaches you about customer ascension scripts and things like that. In day four, he teaches you about continuity offers. Continuity is basically the subscription style offers that could be like a SaaS, a newsletter, a replenishment for a supplement, whatever. And in day number five, he teaches you all about the offer stack. And that's pretty much how you stack the value in your offer. So people think it is an insane value. All right, so let me share with you four lessons that I learned through this challenge. Now, I knew Myron before this whole challenge, so I kind of knew who he was, but he didn't give me any kind of special privilege. I paid to join the challenge. I paid as a VIP, so I definitely think it's worthwhile. So here's the first lesson that I learned from this challenge. Lesson number one is basically create an offer that disconnects your ability to generate revenue from your time. This basically means that a lot of people have the employee mindset, so they think that they can only charge people a certain amount of money because it's based on what they've earned in the past. But Myron teaches you that is not how it works. He teaches you that you create the offer based on solving a problem rather than the amount of time it takes you to solve the problem. Lesson number two, he teaches you that for every offer that you make, you have to create about 10 pieces of content where you're not making an offer. Basically, you can't always come to your audience with your handout. You kind of have to actually give them some value because that's how it works. Now, if you're worried about giving away the farm, you shouldn't because you are delivering real value. You can reveal the information. People are paying for the implementation. Lesson number three is show up in the marketplace for the marketplace. Don't show up in the marketplace for the marketplace's money. So this is a huge difference because people can see right through whether or not you are trying to deliver value or you're just trying to sell something. And lesson number four is basically add a premium value offer. If you don't have a premium value offer or you don't understand what it is, here's kind of a breakdown. So a premium value offer can be anything from like $5,000 to $100,000 to $500,000 and up. Now you might be thinking this is crazy, like you can charge this amount of money. It is not about how much time, it's about the complexity of the problem that you're solving. The bigger the problem that you're solving, the more money you can charge. For example, if you're gonna go to a grocery store, for a grocery store to hire a grocery clerk, it's a very, very small problem, right? A hundred people could be available to solve that problem in the next day or two if a grocery clerk were to be fired. However, for the grocery store to increase their sales and revenue from customers, that is a whole different type of problem. So imagine solving a problem like that because if you can increase the sales and revenues of a company that is doing $10 million a year by say 20%, then you just increase their revenues by $2 million. So the way that Myron explains it is that the value that you're delivering should be 10 times. So if you could increase the revenue by $2 million, you should be able to charge $200,000 for that service. So I hope that you enjoyed this and please make sure that you check out Myron Golden's Make More Offers Challenge. Now a detailed kind of more about this in the notes section. So there's a link in the description, go check it out. Now also what Byron did was he took a book called Boss Moves and he made it into this challenge. So if you're interested, you can actually go and read the book before and there's a link down there in the description where you can go and check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.